Hi there. So now that we're finished with our gingerbread series, we are going to get back into some characters. We're going to be doing the same kind of thing where we talk about the character, the problem, the setting, the solution, beginning, middle, and end. Um, and we're getting into some realistic fiction. So realistic means the characters do things that people would do, but they're not real. It's a little bit different than um, Peter and Peter's chair and the fact that these characters are going to be animals. But they are doing things that people would do. So that makes it the realistic part. Okay, so the new book I have for you, a new series, it is Upstairs Mouse, Downstairs Mole. We're going to read chapter one. The book is going to be in the files tab at the top of the team page. So if you would like to read it on your own, reread it. Here it is. You should listen to the video though, because I'm going to do a couple of, you know, questions and what have you. But it's up there if you want to read it, or if you want to read ahead of me, you can. It's it's pretty long. I'm just going to do a chapter. Upstairs mouse, downstairs mole. As you're listening to the story, I want you to be paying attention to the speaker tags. Remember, speaker tags let us know who's talking, um, and when the characters change. Um, who's talking. They have a dialogue back and forth. Um, Upstairs Mouse, Downstairs Mole. It's by Herbert Wong Yi. Again, I'm just reading chapter one. There are four chapters. Clean and Tidy. Mouse and Mole are neighbors. Mouse lives in a house inside an oak tree. Mole lives in a hole under the house of Mouse. Every morning, Mole swept his hole. Sweep, sweep, sweep. Did you just hear onomatopoeia? Good job. Mole liked his hole nice and tidy. Every evening, Mouse swept her house. Sweep, sweep, sweep. Mouse kept her house nice and clean. Hmm. I'm noticing that Mouse and Mole are kind of similar. They both like to have nice clean spaces. But when Mouse swept her house, the dirt went below into Mole's hole. This made Mole angry. He knocked on Mouse's door. Tap, tap, tap. Evening, Mole, said Mouse. Evening, Mouse, said Mole. Did you just hear that? Those were the speaker tags I was talking about. Mole is saying good evening, and then Mouse says good evening. So they're talking back and forth. It's called dialogue. Did you know that when you sweep, all your dirt goes down into my hole? I sweep my place nice and tidy in the morning, but by evening, it needs to be swept all over again. If you sweep in the morning, said Mouse, then again in the evening, why, you have twice as much work as I do. That does not seem fair. Together, they sat down on the stoop. Mouse twirled her tail. Mole rubbed his snout. A stoop is kind of like a front porch. Hmm. Mouse twirls her tail and Mole rubs his snout. What are they doing? Why are they rubbing and twirling? You're right. They're thinking. They're trying to come up with a solution. I have an idea, squeaked Mouse. She told Mole her plan. They shook paws. Good night, said Mole. Good night, said Mouse. The next morning when Mole woke up, he did not sweep his hole. At 12 o'clock sharp, he gathered his broom, he grabbed his broom and knocked on Mouse's door. Tap, tap, tap. 12 o'clock sharp means right on the button. They like to say 12 o'clock sharp. That would be a metaphor. Because um, it's right then and there. 
sharp. Even though the time isn't sharp, it's just right on the, the 12. Good afternoon, said Mole to Mouse. Good afternoon, said Mouse to Mole. Mouse ran to fetch her broom. Together, they swept Mouse's house until it was nice and clean. Why, it only took us half the time it takes to sweep my house, said Mouse. Next, they marched downstairs and swept Mole's hole until it was nice and tidy. Together, it had taken less time to sweep both places than it took for each of them to do just one. So the problem was, every time Mouse swept, Mole's house got dirty. And then Mole had to do it twice. So they came up with a solution. The solution would be, they did it at the same time. That way Mouse's house got all the dirt when, when Mouse swept and got rid of all the dirt and went downstairs to Mole's and then they went down together and swept Mole's together and it still saved them time. Pretty good. That was fast, said Mole. Our houses are clean and tidy. Thanks to you. Now what? And look, we can see the clock. One o'clock. So it only took them an hour, I guess, to do both. I've been thinking of putting in a garden, said Mouse. Outside, Mouse and Mole circled the tree. Mole rubbed his snout. Where should we put it? How about in the back, said Mouse, twirling her tail. Then we will have a backyard. Good thinking, exclaimed Mole. First, they dug up a patch of grass. Next, they raked the dirt until it was soft. I'm noticing there's a lot of really good teamwork going on in here with Mouse and Mole. They must be really good neighbors. Neighbors help each other. Mole dug a roll of holes. Mouse dropped a seed in each one. Then it was Mouse's turn to dig and Mole's turn to plant. Back and forth they went until the garden was finished. Woo, said Mole. That was hard work, but only half as hard thanks to you, said Mouse. They decided to take a nap. Mole went down into his hole. Mouse went inside her house. Both were much too tired to bother with the dirt they tracked into their clean and tidy homes. Look at all those footprints. Here is downstairs Mole, upstairs Mouse. That's the end of the chapter. Okay, so I'm going to have a few questions for you um, about it. Again, it's on the um, Teams page under Files if you'd like to reread it or go back and look for answers or look at the pictures a little bit better. All right.